Seven Land Productions presents to you Cop Doctors. Episode 23 Medical Police. After some time of non stop action, the cop doctor decided to relax and spend the night watching Netflix. This wasn't a Netflix and chill scenario because neither time nor case would cuddle with one another. They just wanted to hang out. What do you want to watch? I don't know. Nothing too heavy. Maybe a sitcom. So a show. Yeah, let's start something new. Let's see what we... Uh... Hey, what's this? Medical police? It sounds strangely... familiar. Let me read the synopsis. The Children's Hospital gang has returned in a new series that finds Rob Hubel and Aaron Hayes playing... What the fuck? You gotta be shitting me. Cop doctors? They're cop doctors! Case, that's us! They're no shit! They can't be us! We're us! Is this legal? Oh... How did this happen? This show is about our lives. We're cops. And we're doctors. <laughs> Medical police? That's just a fancy way of saying cop doctors. This can't be a coincidence, can it? Can it? I don't think so. There's no way. Those sons of bitches! Hold on, hold on. Let's relax. There has to be an explanation. Here's your explanation! They heard about our lives, and now they're making a show about it on Netflix! They stole our lives! and we're paying them $13 a month to do it. The price went up again? Yep. God damn it! There must be something we can do. We need legal advice. Oh no, you're not thinking. Yes, Tom, I am. We can't contact them, they're horrible people. It doesn't matter, we need their help and they owe us a favor. (sighs) This sucks. It does, but we have to. Netflix won't get away with it. Give me my phone. It's time to make a call. But I hate them. It doesn't matter time. It's time to contact the firefighter lawyers. Diamond Case did not like the firefighter lawyers. They often thought they were trying to steal their thunder by doing two prominent jobs in the same way the cop doctors did. But Jack O'Lantern and Jack Off did not care. O'Lantern and Off were good firefighters and even better lawyers, so it made sense that the cop doctor would contact them. So time, case, to what do we owe this pleasure? Off, O'Lantern, we need your help. And why would we help you? You owe us. We do not. Yes, you do, Off. You owe us big. We saved your asses. Hardly. Please, O'Lantern. If it wasn't for us, you two would have been fired years ago. So you're cashing in now? That's right, Jack. You talking to me or O'Lantern? You, Jack Off. Okay. What do you want? We want to bring Netflix crumbling down. We want to destroy them from the inside. We want to take them for every single penny they own. You do know if you do that, you'll miss out on Stranger Things Season 4. Oh, well, then we just want restitution. Do you know what restitution is? Yes. That's when a prostitute takes a nap. What? Listen, Netflix has made a show called Medical Police. Sounds stupid. We think it's based off of our lives. No wonder why it sounds stupid. They stole our idea. What idea? To be cops and doctors. So they based their show on your actual lives? We believe so. Off. You think they have something here? It's not nothing. So it is something? Oh, it's something. Fine. We'll help you. The next day, the firefighter lawyer set up a meeting with the head of Netflix. To avoid any further legal problem, let's refer to them as Bob and Rob. 
As you can see, gentlemen, the premise of Medical Police is an exact recreation of Mr. Times and Mr. Case's lives. I don't see any resemblance to the show, do you, Rob? No, no. I think these are two vastly different shows. Are you saying our lives are a show? Is it not? Okay, well, they literally say cop doctors in the trailer. You watched the trailer. What did you think? Uh, I like the main cast and Wayne, but I don't think they're going to be able to capture that magic that they had with Children's Hospital. Oh, wait a second. Hey! Who cares about your show? You're stealing our lives! What stealing? All of our shows are derived using a special formula. If you really have a problem with it, wait three years when we cancel it. All our shows eventually get too expensive to proceed, so it'll be a short wait time. We don't want to wait. The show's out now. Yep, yeah, people are watching it now. How do you know that? What do you mean? We don't release viewership data unless it's an end-of-the-year top ten list. Why, then? So we can brag about how many people watch certain shows. Why do you care if you're going to cancel it? We still want people to know Netflix is the best. Just take a gander at our original programming. The problem is, gentlemen, you claim original programming, but here we have an example of a stolen idea. <laughs> stolen? Please, maybe parallel thinking, but stolen is a stretch. The only thing we steal is people's time as we make them get hooked on a show and cancel it three years later. Why are you guys so fixated on canceling shows? Because as prices soar, we can make ten crappy ranch-style sitcom for the price of one later season of Mindhunter. So we're never going to find out what happens to Holden Ford and Bill Tench? But Tench's wife left him in the finale! Uh, fucking spoiler! Can't you at least wrap up the story then before you cancel the show? Hey, blame Fincher. Stealing people's time and forcing them to invest in a show for you to only hide your numbers and cancel when things get interesting is an asshole move. Look at this guy, Rob, another person who demands we make a glow movie. The story must be wrapped up? <laughs> Please. It's like we're already meeting with Mark Maron. Mark Maron is here? We have a meeting with him after you. So if we could wrap this up- No! We're gonna have to demand compensation for our clients or we'll be seeing you in court. Compensation? Because these two fellas think they came up with the idea of being cops and doctors? It's not an idea, it's our lives! And even if it was just an idea, it would be wrong of you to take it. But we're rich. So? So, like we do whatever we want. Bob, they won't understand because they're not rich. What are they, poor? They're probably poor, yeah. You guys don't also own a multi-million dollar streaming company? Uh, no. Then what the fuck are we talking to you for? Yes, please, stop wasting our time. We are busy. We need to meet with Mark Marin and turn down his glow movie pitch. And then we need to meet with Adam Sandler so he can extend his contract and greenlight his next 65 shitty movie ideas. You guys make some really awful deals. Who cares now? We're rich, bitch. That was uncalled for. Please leave. Off. Oh, Lantern, do something. You are capitalizing on these men's ideas. If you do not compensate these men for their ingenious idea to be both cops and doctors at the same time, then well... We'll see you in court. Go ahead. We'll hire the best lawyers this town has to offer. But will they be firefighters too? Probably not. Ha! <laughs> well then. Can you go now? Hey, quick question. What? Did you guys really sign a $200 million deal with David Benioff and D.B. Wise, the writers of Game of Thrones? Yes, we did. Did you guys see the final season of Game of Thrones? Yes. Well, we signed the deal before the whole thing aired. <laughs> Yikes. Good luck with that. Hey, wait. Uh, yeah? If you see Marin in the waiting room, send him in. I don't work for you. Do it, poor person. Fine. After the meeting, the cop doctor and firefighter lawyer went outside into the company courtyard. That could have gone better. We really gonna sue him? We can win it. Okay, then what's next? Leave it to us. First thing we'll do is... Off. What? It's five o'clock. Oh, shit. Sorry, fellas. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Let me guess, you guys are firefighters now? Damn right we are. 
The firefighter lawyer took off, leaving time and Case pondering. They pondered so very hard. Well, what do we do now, Case? Want to Netflix and chill? No cuddling? No cuddling. Okay, we can watch that new Adam Sandler movie. The Halloween one? Yeah. Want it suck? Yeah, of course, it's Adam Sandler. Doctor. Cop Doctors. Written by Robert M. Lamb. Edited by Jordan Sukenik. Starring Jack Austin as Case. Robert M. Lamb as Time. Co-starring Justin Alderson and Mitchell Beck. Music provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com and Soundsnap.com. Don't forget to rate and review this podcast on iTunes. This has been a Seven Lamb production.